Hey guys, today is a really exciting day because I am going to show you probably one of my favorite limiters to date, the Slate Digital FGX2. Full disclosure, this is a sponsored video, but you will see in the video that I am actually really excited about this new plugin. Let's start the video by just looking at how amazing this interface is. This is the type of 2D interface that I appreciate. Now let's go through all the controls and see what they do. On the left side, we have the input gain. Then we have a really nice mastering grade compressor, FG comp with bypass, ratio, attack, release, threshold, and we also have the gain reduction uh, meters. In the middle, we have some really cool meters from LUFS, RMS. We can monitor the peaks or the true peaks, the dynamic range or the crest. On the bottom, we have indicators. We can hide them. We can hide the middle meters and we can also hide the horizontal meters, leaving us with just what we really need or want to see. The interface is also resizable, so you can really minimize how much of the screen real estate this plugin takes. Then we have the actual limiter, the FG level. Low punch and detail, gain, ceiling, and we have four different uh, modes. Then we have a really cool feature for monitoring where we can listen to the difference, listening to what the limiter is doing, we can monitor the mids, the sides, the left channel, right channel. Great for uh, finding issues or really digging on specific uh, problems. A really nice addition, the constant uh, gain monitoring. That means no matter how much gain we push into the limiter, we don't get fooled or tricked by the plugin into thinking that louder is better. Main bypass, true peak limiting, the ceiling we can control from here or here. Dither with a couple of uh, dither options. We also have the advanced uh, tab and this uh, brings up a couple of other settings that we can uh, manipulate. For example, the sidechain of the compressor with the mid side link and the gain reduction width. Also the frequency points for the low punch and detail. This is a transient uh, designer, let's call it, before the limiting uh, stage. Transient, drive, and balance. And this allows you to really tweak the limiter to sound exactly how you want. I have a really cool track in the session, and I've picked this track because it's a problematic uh, song. I had a couple of issues when mastering this song because it has a big 808. Let me play the track and you can hear exactly what I mean. So you can hear that we have a really nasty 808 with a kick behind it. And that's a problematic thing when it comes to mastering this uh, sort of tracks. You cannot push the limiter hard enough to achieve a decent and competitive uh, result. Let's see if FGX2 can uh, do that. I've been using it for a week and I've already developed a type of workflow. What I like doing is push the input until I have a healthy signal going in. Five dB seems uh, just fine, and I usually start in the easy mode just to get a feel for the track really fast. Let's increase the ratio of the compressor two to one. And let's play with the threshold until that kick and 808 start hitting the, the compressor. Love and 
verlieren Ja, wir haben uns verändert, denn wir sind nicht mehr ein Team Vielleicht ist es so besser, doch ich will nur, dass du weißt Es tut mir leid, tut mir leid, denn wir sind jetzt ganz allein Wann wurden Fremde, wie es so oft passiert Alles gut, Lord, dein Ende, Girl, ich glaub Wann wurden Fremde, wie es so oft passiert Alles gut, Lord, dein Ende, Girl, ich wollte dich nicht verlieren Ja, wir haben uns verändert, denn wir Between 1 and 2, DB of Game Reduction on FG Camp is a, a nice starting point I like that it tucks the kick and the air raid a bit so that means that i will be able to push a bit more level into the limiter let's start pushing the limiter with this big knob right here let's aim for a healthy uh, loudness around minus 10 lufs <laughs> Wann wurden Fremde, wie es so oft passiert Alles gut, Lord, dein Ende, Girl, ich wollte dich nicht verlieren Ja, wir haben uns verändert, denn wir sind nicht mehr ein Pushing 11 dB into the limiter brings me pretty close to the loudness that I actually want for the song Now, this is the interesting uh, part Because from what I've tested, FG level is not just a single uh, limiter Actually, by changing the, the modes, you can achieve a wide variety of sounds. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I already know that the loud mode is best for this track. But listen carefully on how the limiter reacts to that low end. It's a really big difference when that 808 hits between the clear mode and the punchy mode. Now let me play you the track with my favorite mode, the loud mode, and this is how it sounds. Love and wurden Fremde, wie es so oft passiert. Alles gut, Lord, dein Ende, Girl, ich wollte dich nicht verlieren. Ja, wir haben uns verändert, denn wir sind nicht mehr ein Team. Vielleicht ist es so besser, doch ich will nur, dass du weißt. Es tut mir leid, tut mir leid, denn wir sind jetzt ganz allein. Much better, there are artifacts, but I'm going to show you how you can clear that up by using the advanced mode. Let's play with detail and uh, low punch because I feel that I can bring some of those uh, nice percussive elements from uh, the track up a bit. <laughs> Now we can go to constant gain monitoring so we can have a fair A-B comparison. The constant gain monitoring works pretty nice. You can hear exactly what the limiter is doing to your track. You can hear how it changes the dynamic. So you can decide if 
that's the sound you want or you want to back the limiter a bit down. So we have the basic thing going on. This is uh, sounding pretty decent, but now let's switch to the advanced mode. What I want to do is focus the compressor to be more targeted on the low end. I can do that with the side chain. The compressor is not listening that much to the top end, but more towards the lower end of the, the mix. Now what I want to do is to unlink the mid side just a bit. This will give the, the track a better width. And with this gain reduction width, you can do two things. You can uh, focus the track a bit more. So, for example, I think the track is a bit too wide for uh, my taste and I would like the vocals to be more upfront. Going negative with the gain reduction width, the vocals will start sounding a bit more upfront. I will exaggerate that just to make sure that you can hear it. Listen to the guitars. And it has a really cool interpretation of a meter. It has a rectangle. You can see that when I have the gain reduction in the negative, the rectangle inside the, the meter is just narrower. And when I have the gain reduction width on the positive side, the rectangle goes wider. So these are some really subtle moves, but for mastering, this is exactly what I need. The ability to make subtle changes towards the greater good of the track. Now let's move to the punch. What I want to do is decrease the low punch just a bit and push it further down. I want that uh, bass to be more punchy without affecting that meat of the, the kick. Also with the detail, this is a really nice way to bring up the vocals if the vocals are a bit buried in the, the mix. You can do that by adjusting the frequency. Have a listen how this affects the lead vocal. Now let's move to this section and this section again really subtle but it makes a big difference. Let's start with the transients. When you push the transients knob to positive values the transients will be sharper. When you push them into negative values, it will round off uh, the transients in a really nice way. And this can really help this uh, track. Let's start by rounding off the transients. <laughs> Tut mir leid, tut mir leid, wir sind jetzt ganz allein.
Tut mir leid, denn wir sind jetzt ganz allein Wegen mir Love und Wurden Fremde Wie es so Much better particularly on that section where we have that big hit with the bass and the kick. Then we have some saturation. Pretty cool to increase the apparent uh, loudness of the track. And the last knob we have is balance. This again subtle, but it shifts the focus of the limiter more towards the top end or more towards the low end. Let's uh, see what sounds uh, better in this case. You can hear that when I shift the balance more into positives, the track sounds a bit warmer. And this is my basic workflow and I believe this is going to be one of my favorite uh, limiters moving forward just because of the tweakability with the advanced mode and the ability to deal with problematic tracks like this one in a really nice way. This is an amazing limiter and it's probably going to end up on countless of my masters. Wir haben uns verändert, denn wir sind nicht mehr ein Team. Vielleicht ist es 